take a look at these gorgeous pieces of jewelry. Each of them is using a custom fitted bezel. And today's show is all about bezels. And I'm here with Mark Nelson. And Mark, you are going to show us how to make a bezel to fit any size stone. That's right, we're gonna totally hand make one. Mm -hmm. And they can fit just about any kind of stone. Okay, great. So where do we begin? First of all, you wanna choose your material. Mm -hmm. um, normally a, a bezel is fine silver. Mm -hmm. And we just need to make sure that the width and the thickness is gonna match our design. Okay. okay? So and, you would uh, just choose your stone first, probably. Usually pick the stone first, mm -hmm. and then you're going to pick the material. And we have here some um, some wider, thinner and wider material. Mm -hmm. So you want to pick the width that's mm -hmm. going to work for you. Okay. And the thickness um, is also a variable. You can go anywhere from 26 gauge to 28 gauge. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, you can also make custom bezel wire from fine silver, mm -hmm. just having it cut to the length that you like. Okay. And the next part is you need to take your, your stone and mm -hmm. your material and simply just wrap, the, wrap it. Okay. So is it important if you're ever using a softer stone or something that's a little more fragile, would you wrap it with tissue or something before you start? Or no, just jump right in? Just jump right in. Okay. And um, one thing you want to try and do though is when you do wrap it and you make your seam, mm -hmm. try and make your seam on a long end. Okay. okay, that's a good tip. So you see that I kind of wrapped it and it ended up there on the corner. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to cut it just a little bit and make sure that it's on the on the right side here. Okay. You just use nippers for that. Yeah, this is a pair of ink flush cutters. Mm -hmm. And that'll make a, a really easy, quick cut. Okay. There we go. So now I'm back on that flat side there. Mm -hmm. Then you'll just bring it all the way around using your fingers. Just use my fingers. Mm -hmm. And uh, the odd shaped stones like this, the free form ones, mm -hmm. can be a little difficult. Um, you wish you had like 11 fingers or, or sure. something like that. Yeah. Now I'm going to use a scribe um, to mark the overlap. Okay. And the reason I'm using a scribe, it's much more accurate than a pen. Oh, is that right? Why is that? Well, the pen has it a, a dent. Well, it has a width. Mm -hmm. So when you do a pen mark, you can cut anywhere half a millimeter oh, off. Oh, I more. see what you're saying. So, mm -hmm. and once I have my cut, I'm going to go ahead and try and cut right on that. Mm -hmm. so you're and do a 90 degree cut. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to have a kind of a pinched in. Mm -hmm. So you want to take a file mm -hmm. and go ahead and just kind of file that flat. And that's because you used a flush cutter. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It always leaves that pinch in behind. Exactly. If you want to do a, a, a say a saw blade, mm -hmm. these can be a little hard to hold and cut. Oh, okay. So it's just easier to cut with nippers and then mm -hmm. file. File it a little bit. Okay. So once you have that, you're going to take your bezel here mm -hmm. and you're going to line them up and they mm -hmm. have to be flush. Okay. And this can be the tricky part, especially on a bigger stone. Oh. Um, so what I do is I try to do it like a jump ring. Mm -hmm. So you sort there. of push the ends past each other and then bring them back together. Exactly. All right. And you get a little tension in there. Mm -hmm. Now what we're going to do is solder it. Okay. Okay. We're going to use hard solder mm -hmm. and I'm going to show you a technique that's pretty foolproof on doing this. All right. And I just need a little piece of solder. Let me borrow one from over here. Mm -hmm. And we'll put that down just like that. Okay, and you're working on a block? Working on a charcoal block. Um, it could be a charcoal block or the white, board, the white block underneath. Okay. And I'm just gonna put a little flux right here on the seam. Mm -hmm. And then I put the seam right on top of that pallion of solder. Okay, so you just actually place it right on the block on top of your solder. Is that so that it'll be right there where you need it? Right, exactly. It, when, it, when I heat it up, it's not gonna go anywhere. Mm -hmm. And when it flows, the, the whole bezel will just drop. Oh, okay. And that'll let me know that my solder flowed. Mm -hmm. I found it pretty foolproof. Because um, okay. these bezels can be hard to, or easy to melt, actually. Mm. And so we'll just go ahead and just heat this up. Mm -hmm. And so as you're heating that, can you tell us a little bit about the torch that you use? All right, this is a, um, a little torch that's uh, uh, propane oxygen. Mm -hmm. And it flowed. I don't know if mm -hmm. you saw it, but it flowed. It just disappeared. It disappeared. And so we'll just go ahead and cool that. Mm -hmm. And then we'll go ahead and pickle it. Okay. And once we're done with that, then we're going to have a... Um, our bezel here. Mm -hmm. And thing here is that we want to take our bezel and pass the stone all the way through it. 
okay? Because uh -huh. what we're going to do is make sure that it's 90 degrees, okay? Oh, that mm -hmm. this is straight up and down like this. Right. Okay? Mm -hmm. um, and if it doesn't pass all the way through, then we need to make keep doing that until it does. Okay. Okay. So do you want it to fit fairly snugly or there should be a little bit of room? Uh, fairly snugly. You should mm -hmm. feel like have to kind of push it a little bit to go through. Okay. And once we're done with that, we will go ahead and we need a flat edge. Mm -hmm. And so we'll go ahead and sand it. Mm -hmm. There again, that figure eight, mm -hmm. keep it nice and flat. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we need to solder um, that onto a backing. Okay. Okay. And this is how, I mean, you can do any kind of metal. You can do brass, copper. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be sterling. But this is going to give it some more structure. More structure. And it also holds the, the mm -hmm. back of the stone in mm -hmm. there. And of course, if you had a piece of glass or something transparent, then you don't have to put it back on right. your bezel. Right. Okay. So we are almost out of time, but what's our final step? Uh, final step is really uh, putting the stone in mm -hmm. nice and level and then uh, taking your burnisher mm -hmm. and uh, putting down the bezel. Okay. And so you would just press that in the rest of the way around the stone. Right. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Mark. You're welcome. We'll be right back with Crystal.